Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Max, and in this video, we'll be discussing how to configure your WordPress database and WordPress um, uh, website online so that you can log into the GUI part of the WordPress uh, application and start working and configuring your WordPress website from there. It's going to be a simple process, don't worry. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin. Um, so in the in the previous videos, if you've been following this series, we talked about uh, installing the LAMP stack, the LAMP. We did that, and then we talked about installing and configuring the database, and installing and configuring your WordPress website with your database because you're going to need to do that because WordPress needs a database in order for it to work and operate. So if you don't remember that, go ahead and look at the other previous videos. They'll all be in consecutive order, in sequential order, um, and they'll all be in a playlist. So you should easily be able to access the other videos in the LAMP stack series, and um, you should have all that information there. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and configure WordPress online. So, you'll need your, your database information and your WordPress information and you'll need a browser. So, let's go ahead and begin. So, here's my browser right here. And what I got is my WordPress and database information. Like I said, you should have this already from creating your database and connecting your database to your WordPress um, application. Just look at the previous video and you'll have your information from there. So in this video, to go ahead and configure everything online, what we'll need is the WordPress link or URL, which is right there. And just so you know, it's going to be whatever your WordPress website name is forward slash WP dash Adam or admin sorry so it will be your WordPress um, website dot com forward slash WP admin and then you also need your database information this should have been configured both from the database side and from the WordPress side where we went ahead and configured and plugged in that information so that your uh, WordPress website folder can be correlated with your database. Just look at the previous video. I explained it all there. But in this one, you're going to need your database name. You're going to need the username for that database. And then you're going to need that the database password okay and so what we do is we go ahead open up our browser and we plug this URL in there and right here this is where we go online to configure your data your uh, WordPress application um, I normally delete this and then you just put in a, a site title this will be seen um, up here at top when you put that in so we'll just put test word press site right and then you're gonna give it a pat a username and we already have that I normally name it whatever the the user is for that database right put that in there and then I normally put in my own password you can do either or you can either generate a password or put in the password from your database I normally put in the password from the database or the data or from the user that's connected to that database and then you can just put in your your uh, email address and that's going to be whatever your email address is that you want them to send all your information to email 
I'm just making this up. This is not a real email address. And then you can put whether or not you want want to discourage search engines from in indexing your site. I normally leave that blank, right? And then I just go ahead and click next. Or you go ahead and click install WordPress. Okay, it has to be a, a valid email address. So let me go ahead and put in a valid email address. Let's see here. I know what I can use. I can use this one. This is a valid email address. One gmail.com. Now we go ahead and press on install WordPress. Sorry, this is not a valid email address. That is a valid email address. Oh, ah, uh -huh. at gmail.com. Then press install. Okay. And as you can see, it says WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. It comes up with your username and it doesn't have the password because we'll need to put that in the next step. So click login. And this is your this is your uh, WordPress website. So from here, you go ahead and you put in your credentials. Right. So we're gonna put in username, which is T baby, then our password, which is our secret, super secret password. I trust you guys. You know, you guys are not gonna tell anybody about my password, right? And there we go. We are logged into our WordPress site. Okay. And then we can come up here over to the far left and if we click on our our uh, WordPress site where it says test WordPress site click on visit site I right click on it and then I choose open in another tab and here we go here's our WordPress site so we now have a WordPress uh, uh, website and this is it and this shows our address and this shows our web page so we have successfully installed WordPress online to the point where we can log into it we'll go over the rest of this real quick when you log into it this first place this is your dashboard all right and this is home okay and then as we go down we have post and show all post okay this is where you go ahead if you're uh, doing like a, a blog you can go ahead and put in your posts here you do that by uh, hitting on add new posts okay then we got media if we come over here again to this side we have media library this is where you can upload all of your pictures Currently, since I've just installed this in here, I don't have any pictures yet. And then we come down here to pages. These are where we have our static pages right here. And we don't have any static pages, but if we had any, this is where they would be, right here. These are comments. We're going to skip that. This is appearance right here. This is where you can go to look at your themes. By default, when you install WordPress, it has a few themes that are already in it. Depending on what year you install your WordPress application in, like this is 2023, so you'll see um, the name of this theme is 2023. If this was uh, the year 2022, then it would show this thing. If it was the year 2021, then it would show this thing. That's basically by default. That's the way they've been doing it for WordPress since they 
since they created it. Okay, but anyway, this is where your themes are. This is where your plugins are right here. You'll come in here and you'll see two plugins by default. One an anti-spam plugin and a Hello Dolly plugin. Okay, and then we come down here and over here on the far left we got for the users right here. Right now there's only one user, but if you want to add another user, which which you will be doing, uh, depending on whether or not there's more than one person that's going to be sharing your website. All right. And then we got tools over here. Available tools. I don't know. Okay, we don't seem to have any available tools, tools which we would not. And then we have settings. All right, we have general settings, writing, reading, yada, yada, yada. Again, since this is a brand new website, you know, we're not going to have that much in here. Okay. We'll just come back up to the dashboard. Oops. This is your main dashboard. This is where you can see the stuff like your system health, what post you put in your activity, and stuff like that. And if you want to uh, start it off with a clean space so that you don't see a lot of this stuff, you can go ahead and click on the up arrow, and it gets rid of a lot of it. It stays there. It's You'll be able to get it back when you log back in. Or when you go back to screen options, you can choose to see these things if you want. All right, you know, quick draft activity at a glance, site status, welcome. We'll go ahead and put the welcome back in there, and then you can click on screen options and click up on it again. So, this is your brief um, uh, WordPress video of how to navigate through WordPress, All right. So we have been able to successfully install WordPress online. So I think this is a pretty good place to start to stop. Um, in this series, we've learned a lot of things, including how to add WordPress onto our LAMP server. So I hope you appreciate it. I hope this video helped you out and added value to you. Um, I hope you were able to learn some things throughout this video series. Um, as a shameless plug-in, just to let you guys know, I do offer free WordPress websites. I also offer free web hosting. And I offer uh, web hosting consulting free as well. Um, I will put all information in the video description for how to contact me. And I think this is good. I think this is a good place for us to stop. So, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Um, and I hope you hit the notification bell so that you can get more videos from me. And as I said, I hope this video helped you out a lot. So, thank you very much. I hope you guys have a good day and a good night, wherever you are. Um, and whatever pronoun you choose to use. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.